Last week or so, I just got a package from Aperture and they sent me this over, the Aperture B7C. And today I thought of just making short first-hand impressions on this little bulb that Aperture makes. As always with all my reviews, it's not going to be a super detailed scientific one, as I know there are tons of videos out there that you can watch. But this review is just sort of an overall impressions video of what I thought about the B7C Aperture line. So if that does tick your boxes, now this video is definitely for you. As you can see, the Aperture B7C is the first professional lighting system of its kind as it is literally a bulb but not quite just any typical bulb this light bulb is actually a smart bulb and what i mean by that is that this bulb can be used in more ways than just lighting a scene by switching it on the aperture b7c can also be controlled with an app on your phone the Cities app can be downloaded for free and once installed you can control all the final settings in the bulb just by using the app but before we get into all the details of what this light can do, I think let's first talk about what the build quality is really like in this bulb. Well, what can I say? The first time I actually unboxed this light, I was definitely impressed with the build quality of this light. It's built really well and it feels solid and quite heavy too. It is built out of aluminium and despite the use of aluminium, the light feels quite substantial in the hand. And I think that is probably due to the fact that there is a battery built into this light. In terms of build quality, it is pretty much what I have come to expect from Aperture. The build quality is just superb. The light doesn't have any active cooling, but it does have this vent up here to dissipate all the heat that's generated from this bulb. Although it doesn't get that hot, but it does help a lot. Okay, so now let's look at the specs of this light. This light measures around 2.75 inches in diameter and it weighs around 240 grams. So it's not what you may call a super featherweight bulb if you compare it to a normal light bulb. The light comes with Bluetooth connectivity and you can operate it using a size link app on your phone. Connecting the light bulb is also pretty easy as it comes with the standard E26 or E27 compatible socket and it supports both AC and DC power. The B7C is rated at 7 watts and it has a built-in LiPo battery that can last around 70 minutes in a full charge at maximum brightness and apparently according to Aperture 20 hours on minimum brightness and it takes around 2 hours to charge it fully. In terms of lumens, the light is rated at 570 lumens at maximum brightness and it has a color temperature ranging from 2 2000 kelvins all the way up to 10,000 kelvins. The CRI on this bulb is rated at 95 CRI and it is an RGB light too in case you didn't notice that already. The light comes with six presets ranging from 2000 kelvins all the way up to 6500 kelvins. This light can also be controlled via three inbuilt buttons on the light itself and you can control it on the Sidus Link app which you guys already know. In terms of usability and experience using the light I would say the light is pretty easy to operate and the best feature in my opinion has definitely got to be the fact that you can control this light with your phone using the Sidus Link app. That means you can control the light easily and pairing the light with other aperture lights you may have is a breeze. However, that being said, I have to admit the one thing I didn't like about the light was operating it using the three buttons as at times it would be guesswork just knowing what mode you're in. It would be great if the light had a small OLED screen or something just for us to know what mode that we're in. So Aperture perhaps for the next version, please do include an OLED screen if that's possible, like the ones that you find on the Aperture RGB WW light. That would be great. There are definitely times you do wish not having to use your phone all the time just to easily operate more detailed settings, but I guess that's a small gripe. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about mentioning about this. This light also can do some special effects. It ranges from cop car, fire, pulsing, TV, lightning, faulty bulb, fireworks, paparazzi, and party lights. So another feature I love about this light is the fact that you can actually pick and choose what color you want to match just by aiming the camera in the app and it will try to match that color exactly to reproduce as a color in your light. Now that's so cool. Right then, I did say that this isn't going to be a long review, but more of an overview of the Aperture B7C. So what are my conclusions? And who do I think should grab this light? Well, to me, I know I want it as this light would make such a great addition to my arsenal of portable lights. To me, whoever buys this light would 
definitely need to know what they would be using this light for. This light will definitely not be a light that lights up a scene, but it is more intended for using as a complementary practical light that has great color accuracy. I see this light being very useful in professional production settings that are looking for accurate color reproduction from their practicals in the scene. However, that being said, this light isn't merely, in my opinion, targeted just for the pros in mind. With its relatively affordable price, I can see it also being useful for small productions and even small YouTubers like myself. Right, so I guess that's it for my review on the Aperture B7C. I hope you found this short review useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. Also, if you do feel like making a small contribution to help support this channel, I did leave my PayPal link down in the description below. Also, do check out our Lightroom presets, which I did also leave the links down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.